Good morning, everybody. Frank Gray here with the National Real Estate Post. Hey, pre-app 1003 users, have you invited an agent into pre-app 1003 with pre-app agent yet? Well, if you haven't, you're missing out. It's in there and it's awesome. Get inside your dashboard, figure it out, start inviting them in. Oh, and if you're not using pre-app 1003 and you have no idea what I'm talking about, check it out. It's rad. All you can do is click this pre-app banner you see here over on your right. You may have to scroll down a little bit. You see it there. If you're watching us on Facebook, there's a link up above. Now on with the show. How do you like the sound of this? CFPB 2.0. I do. I think it's certainly about time we had a CFPB 2.0. I mean, it'd be better if we had a CFPB no point oh, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. And the truth is, I believe in the CFPB. Eh? You know, I believe in it. I believe in its concept anyway. I mean, I don't want to get screwed by some shady finance guy or company, as I'm sure none of you do as well. We need to make sure that when it comes to mortgages, car loans, student loans, bank accounts, et cetera, et cetera, that we know exactly what we're getting into. And we need to have some regulation on what can be provided to the consumer. Hey, this is a true story. A friend of mine just got a personal loan for $3,000. The interest rate on this loan, 112%. Yup. And I think it's like a 10 year loan or something ridiculous like that. And guess what? When it's all said and done and it's all paid back, it's something like $50,000 that gets paid back. I am not BSing you here. It's a real thing. Now he's got some funky credit and he's in a tough spot but it sure feels a lot like him being taken advantage of to me. That kind of a loan, I, it shouldn't exist in this day and age, but it does. I don't know why. So it's still out there. Anyway, obviously there's a need for regulation on this kind of stuff. So the thought of the CFPB or another agency like it going away, it's just crazy talk. It's not gonna happen. So clearly what needs to be done is the CFPB needs to be revised or revamped. Yes, we need regulation, but let's be reasonable about it. Consumers do need access to safe financing products and lenders need clear guidelines on how to deliver those products without the fear of being fined out of business for doing something that wasn't clear in the first place. Well, with all this in mind, and with the CFPB director's term coming up soon and the Republican Congress that we're working with right now, the agency is at a bit of a crossroads. So now might be a good time for the agency to take some advice from the finance industry about how we can all better work together. Enter CFPB 2.0. That's right, the NBA has issued a white paper regarding the CFPB, laying out what they believe needs to be done to improve the agency and to provide more clarity for the industry. The proposed changes in the white paper are, place priority on issuing appropriate guidance to facilitate compliance with federal law. Yeah, thank you, let's hope that happens. Establish guideline for when and how it will issue and revise rules and guidance. Thank you. That would be very, very nice. Acknowledge it is bound by its guidance. Hello. That would be terrific. Instead of making stuff up along the way and just saying, ah, change my mind. We're going to do it a different way now. Come on. Ensure industry input on mortgage and other issues. Yes, not everyone in the industry is a slimy criminal trying to take advantage of everybody. There's a lot of great players out there that can help and provide this information to you. Provide timely answers to questions on regulations with authoritative guidance. Wouldn't that be nice of the agency to do for the industry? Come on. Publish notice of changes in guidance and apply those changes prospectively. Yes, thank you. Provide time for regulated entities to comply. Yeah. And the one I like the best, ensure due process and its enforcement actions. This is a great white paper for all of us to read and digest, guys. And again, like I said, I particularly like the last item, which is to ensure due process 
in its enforcement actions. Now, I'm not going to get into all the details about that matter, but essentially the NBA is asking to make things more fair to the financial institution in question because they really don't have the ability to fight the agency when they strongly disagree with them. And what's worse is that after months of interrogation and negotiation with the agency to reach a settlement and move on, then the CFPB goes out and releases a very negative press release about the company that settled with them, which causes problems for that company that go way beyond the imposed fine. Look, I've put a link to the NBA page where you can download and read the white paper for yourselves. It's down below if you're watching us on the website and it's up above if you're watching us on Facebook. And again, if you're in the mortgage or real estate business, you should read it. It's good stuff might put you to sleep, but it's good stuff. Check it out. It's good to be informed. Will this white paper help anything at all? God, I hope so, but I'm not holding my breath. Well, there you go. Check it out, you guys. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Do me a favor, forward, share, and subscribe to us here at the National Real Estate Post. There's a link above on Facebook that you can subscribe. If you're on our webpage, there's a big orange button in the upper right-hand corner. But forward and share this, I appreciate it. With that, you guys have a fantastic weekend. Catch you here on Monday on the National Real Estate Post. See ya. Used to spend my nights out of the barroom. Look away. But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom And brought me back Being too far gone Oh, that smooth Tennessee whiskey Found the bottom of the bottle's always dry But when you put out your heart, I didn't waste it Cause there's nothing like your love Tennessee whiskey.